Hey, what's up, guys? This is my tutorial for Love Is All by the Tallest Man on Earth. So first off, tuning. He tunes down this high E string to a D, and then he plays it on the seventh fret. Um, but you can get the same effect by just using two capos, one that covers these top six strings, and then having one that covers all of them. So it's basically like it's tuned down a whole step without having to change your tuning from standard tuning. And you can still play all the notes perfectly fine. So to start out, it starts out on E minor, but he only uses this middle finger. He plays it, so he gets his thumb. And the entire song is gonna be bouncing between the bass this is the hardest part of the song, between the bass and whatever note he's playing next. In this case, they're octaves. And then in between that, he goes with his pointer finger. But I like the balance of my thumb and I don't like to disturb that, so I just, and then I pick these three and it sounds a lot more controlled. That's what I do. Just that one finger. And then he goes. Um, so thumb, thumb. Let me think about this. Thumb, thumb, pointer finger, thumb, middle finger, thumb, pointer finger. So thumb, thumb, pointer finger, thumb, middle finger, thumb, pointer finger. And that, it's really hard to get down at first, but once you get it down, it's easy. You can talk over it, you can fart over it. on the second fret of the low E string and then if you want to you can put your ring finger on the second fret of the G string you don't have to if you do it sounds like this and then just go into a G with just this finger and then he hammers on to a C just with these two bottom fingers, so. And you're just keeping that same. Literally my right hand is doing the same thing the entire time. So, I'll play it slow. And then this is where it mixes up a little bit. He plucks his middle finger on the second string, open, and the low E string at the same time then goes back to the thumb and then that high E string and since it's tuned down a step it'll be a D relative to everything else and then it just makes its way back down with the thumb in the middle about it for a second I'm sorry I'm sure you can see it and figure it out and then just stay on there for a little bit and then pull off and then he's gonna walk down so
pick these two notes at the same time the B string and the low E string pick them together first pick them together and do the same picking pattern and then do it at the same time and then he works his way back up mark down middle finger on the second fret B minor into this two fingers one on the second fret of the low E string and second fret on the G string and then back up to a G and then this is where the famous um, that's just so um, let me think about this picking pattern um, Okay, thumb, and then he's gonna pick his thumb on the low E and then pick his thumb on the D string while picking his middle finger in this C slash G shape on the second string. And then he's gonna pick that same note with his thumb just bouncing between those two bass notes. And then he's gonna pull off. And then go back to the thumb and then point his finger. And then thumb. second string he's gonna have um, his ring finger and the pinky on the third fret and then he's gonna pull off into this with these two fingers on the second fret of the G string and the low E string but he's gonna hammer on with this with this ring finger and then first finger on the first fret of the second string same picking pattern pick these two notes at the same time hammer on thumb and middle finger thumb and middle finger again thumb pointer finger open it's open and then he's gonna go back up back down into the it goes like this um, so he gets these two fingers again and picks thumb then picks these two together sorry these two together I said I could write 
guys back at the G. into a C and this is the first time that he picks his thumb off this low E. From the harness of our goals. Harness. And then he goes down to second fret on the A string and then do it back into that weird shape. Here comes the fear to an A minor when he hammers on with his pointer finger and he has his thumb on the low E again. Here comes the fear. Yeah. Here comes the fear. So he's going to hammer on two times. same picking pattern. But like always, I let them go. So that's the whole song. If you can get that picking pattern down of just thumb, thumb, pointer finger, thumb, middle finger, thumb, pointer finger. With the occasional picking two strings at the same time. song it just repeats just let them go and you can just keep playing that I just kind of skipped over that because for some reason I can't sing that and play that at the same time but I'm working on it um, so the first chorus he stays down with his voice the next course he goes up an octave I can't sing that high but right here instead of going down from the harness of our goals he goes harness of our goals can't sing that high pick up the tears but like always I let them go just let them go see I can't sing that and play that so just kind of skip over That's my Rush tutorial. If you guys have any questions or you want me to specify anything like the picking pattern or what I'm doing with my left hand, just let me know. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. Peace.